Okay, so today what I'm going to uh, do is fix up a um, transmission leak on this MY99 Subaru Impreza WRX. Uh, it's a four-speed auto. So this is the phase two uh, 4EAT or four-speed electronic automatic transmission found in the Subarus. Phase two because it has a spin on oil filter. Um, so they had the main wiring for the um, valve body goes through the case through this little plastic plug or a grommet I guess you could call it and they have an o-ring inside that seals on the aluminium case uh, now obviously over time these vehicles are getting older and uh, the rubber shrinks and they develop a leak because they're so low in the transmission it's not a pressure leak but a fair bit of transmission fluid leaks out around this uh, wiring loom entry here and you'll see you'll see the signs of a wet pan and you'll get uh, stains on the exhaust there and you'll start to smell the fluid. So what I'm going to do is pull the pan off and check out how hard this actually is to get out anyway. So the first order of business will be to drain the transmission fluid Now these transmissions hold a lot of transmission fluid, around about uh, 6 or 7 litres is going to come out. So make sure you have enough containers ready, because your normal drain pan for the engine is probably not going to be big enough. So next up is to undo the bolts that hold the pan on. They're 10 millimeter head M6 bolts. So now we should be able to drop the pan off. Just give it a tap. Very careful you don't plunge this inside and damage anything. The valve body or the wiring harness or anything like that. There we go. There we go. So there is the wiring harness there, connected to the valve body and whatnot. So you don't have to take the valve body out to get to this. This is really, really simple. Once the pan's off, you can get to that simply, very, very easily. So if you've got a new O-ring, it's just a matter of unplugging the connectors and taking it out. Put the new o-ring on the housing there and pop it back in so that's really easy if you don't have an o-ring you won't need to unplug the wiring at all there's enough slack in there what we can do is just lift it up clean it put some ultra gray around it pop it back in
Okay, so now it's time to get the wiring housing out of the gearbox. So we're going to do that by squeezing these little tabs that lock, lock the housing into the transmission and wriggle and pull on the top to bring it out. See how loose it is, that's why it's leaking. Check that out. So we'll pull it out and have a look at the damage. So I'm going to use a uh, screwdriver here on the outside while I just squeeze the tabs with my fingers. Once you get those tabs up into the hole, it should pop out fairly easily. Make sure you have enough play on the wires. There we go. So there's what it looks like. So it's out of the transmission, just swinging there loose now. You can see the o ring which is all shrunk. You can see the stain around the top where it's been leaking. So I'm going to clean that up now and I go from there. Well, I've got it clean as I can get it, and I've washed it down with uh, wax and grease remover. So it's time for the ultra grey. Now I don't really want an excess of this inside the transmission, so I'm just going to put it on top of the on top of the O-ring. When I push the housing into the transmission, it's going to wipe up instead of wipe down. There's going to be a bit inside, but there's not going to be a lot. Now's the time to wipe off any excess down below the O-ring. Because I don't want to deliberately put it inside the transmission. I think we're ready to push it in. Click. Push it down nice and firm. And you can see the excess that's come out there, so it's definitely quite a bit around it. Make sure that you reconnect any plugs that you're undone on the solenoids. And I reckon we're back in business. Now 
Now you can clean up the outside, wipe any excess off so it doesn't look too ugly. It's uh, grey anyway on the silver gearbox. It's going to get dirty. Time for the pan. Uh, make sure you tighten the sump plug back up and clean it all out and everything. And you can bang it back on. Get your bolts and everything ready. Handy. And then up we go. So now it's time to fill up the transmission fluid. So you can start by just putting your funnel in the dipstick tube of the transmission. And initially you can add quite a bit of fluid. Um, just keep adding it until you can see it on the dipstick to the um, to the low mark, which usually takes about five or six liters. Then you want to start the engine, and as the engine's running, uh, top it up to the normal level, and then keep changing it through the gears and everything so it pumps it through the whole gearbox. Oh.